Throughout history, there have been countless puzzling mysteries that have left historians scratching their heads. However, while some of these weird history stories may never be solved, many of history's greatest enigmas have answers waiting to be uncovered. Today, Discovery Unraveled will explore five unexplained mysteries that have stumped experts for years. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of historical discovery. 1. The City of Naya Naya was an ancient city in a desert along the Silk Road, a trade route connecting Europe and ancient China. The city acted as an oasis and was home to around a thousand people, with its peak population reaching about 3,350 people. The culture of Naya was a blend of Romans, Chinese, and Mongolians, and it had a peaceful history until a war led to its demise. According to ancient stories, a powerful king marked with the seal of a golden camel fell in love with a woman from another tribe, which led to a war and ultimately resulted in the city's destruction. The gods were said to have caused a sandstorm that buried Naya as punishment. Despite many explorers searching for answers, the cause of Naya's sudden and unexpected ending remains unclear. In 1901, numerous ancient artifacts were discovered in Naya, including jewels, coins, pottery, letters, and personal belongings. Many of the letters tied together with a string and made of two pieces of wood were found unopened as if they had never been sent. Archaeologists concluded that whatever happened to Naya happened suddenly, as evidenced by dogs tied up outside and waiting for their owner's return. Some speculate that war may have been the cause of Naya's demise, but no evidence of a skirmish has ever been found. The mystery of Naya's untold story remains unsolved, even though the world's greatest archaeologists have attempted to solve it. Wyatt rediscovered Naya in 1901, leaving the unexplained historical mystery behind. 2. Jacobites Lost Gold For centuries, a vast fortune in gold has been rumored to be hidden in the Scottish Highlands. The true story behind this treasure, however, is a grim tale of failed rebellion and lost riches. Prince Charles Edward Stuart was a Scottish nobleman who sought to overthrow the ruling British monarchy and reclaim the throne for himself. His followers, known as Jacobites, rallied to his cause in 1745 and quickly seized control of Edinburgh. But the uprising was short-lived as the Jacobites soon needed funds to pay their soldiers and buy supplies. A French ship arrived to assist the Jacobites with reinforcements and a shipment of 13,000 pieces of gold, but the British Navy intercepted it. The lack of resources proved fatal and the Jacobites suffered a devastating defeat. Two more ships carrying gold and ammunition arrived shortly after, but they were forced to flee when they were spotted on loading their cargo. The responsibility of protecting the treasure fell to Evan McPherson, the leader of the McPherson clan who took refuge in a nearby cave. Despite numerous attempts to locate the treasure, its whereabouts remain a mystery. In 2020, a group of treasure hunters found Jacobite artifacts in the area where the ships were believed to have docked. However, they were unable to locate the missing gold. The story of the lost Jacobite gold remains one of the most intriguing mysteries in Scottish history, a reminder of the high stakes and tragic consequences of failed rebellions. Why did the historian fail to solve the five unexplained historical mysteries? Because he was too busy trying to unravel why his cat kept knocking over his coffee mug. Suppose you want to uncover the truth behind these mysterious historical events. Like this video and subscribe to the Discovery Unraveled channel. Who knows, we'll uncover the reason behind that pesky coffee mug mystery too. 3. Lost Library of Ivan Ivan IV, or Ivan the Terrible, is known for his cruel deeds in history, but another side to his less well-known story is his secret library. The library was initiated by Sophia Paleologue, the niece of the last Eastern Roman Emperor, after her family fled to Rome following the Ottoman Empire's conquest of the Byzantines. Sophia eventually married Ivan III of Moscow and brought a collection of books saved from the Imperial Library in Constantinople, considered one of the best in Europe at the time. Ivan the Terrible expanded the library and was the first to request that some works be translated into Russian. However, according to legend, the scholars hesitated to do so out of fear that Ivan may use the knowledge for dark magic. 
After Ivan's death, the library's location was lost and remained a mystery. Some speculate it may have been underground beneath the Moscow Kremlin, but its fate is uncertain. The library contains numerous historical works of literature that are now lost to time, including a last poem from Virgil and a full version of Cicero's De Republica. If discovered today, such a historic collection would be invaluable. Despite numerous attempts by leaders such as Peter the Great and those of the USSR to find the library, its location and contents still need to be explained. Although Ivan the Terrible is infamous for his brutality, his secret library highlights a different aspect of his character and legacy. The library was a valuable collection of historical literature that may have been lost to time. Still, its existence serves as a reminder of the power of intelligence and the importance of preserving it for future generations. 4. The Mystery of the Miniature Coffins In 1836, a group of boys discovered a mysterious collection of 17 small coffins hidden in a cave near Arthur's seat in Edinburgh. The coffins, each about one foot in height, contained miniature figurines made of wood, dressed in hand-sewn clothes with some featuring painted features on their heads. The coffins were intricately carved using proper wood carving tools with metal scraps used as decorative accents, hinting that the artisan may have been a shoemaker or leather worker. The collection of hand-carved coffins with repurposed toy soldier figurines inside appeared to have been recently placed in their location, as some coffins were placed earlier than others. The clothing found on the figures dated the coffins to roughly 1830. It was unclear if they were buried together or separately, as water damage may have distorted the original arrangement. The enigma surrounding the collection has baffled archaeologists and historians for years, with various theories emerging about its origin and purpose. Some suggested that the group might have served as a memorial to people who perished in unexplained historical events, while others speculated that it might have ties to witchcraft. The site's exact location has been lost to time, with various spots around Arthur's seat suggested as possibilities. A private collector purchased the collection and vanished until some were recovered in 1901. Eight of the coffins, complete with their figurines, were donated to a museum for further examination. Despite many attempts to unravel the collection's mystery, the truth may never be fully known. The significance and purpose of the small coffins and their figurines remain a subject of speculation, adding to the allure and intrigue of the mysterious discovery made by those boys in 1836. Number 5. Fulcanelli, the Mysterious French Alchemist Fulcanelli is a mysterious alchemist and esoteric figure known for his enigmatic writings and supposed abilities. Fulcanelli's life and true identity is little known, and many of his claims still need to be verified. He was reportedly born in the late 1800s and was proficient in multiple languages such as Greek and Latin. He was said to be a gifted alchemist and teacher who could perform incredible feats such as transforming lead into gold. In 1926, he published a book called The Mysteries of the Cathedrals, which suggested that the secrets of alchemy could be found hidden in the images on the walls of Notre Dame Cathedral. Fulcanelli claimed that the cathedral contained a hidden language that could lead to solving the depth of all the world's mysteries. While some dismiss Fulcanelli's writing as near surrealist fiction, others continue to use it as a guide to uncover the unexplained historical secrets of the world. However, the true identity of Fulcanelli remains a mystery. There is a debate about whether Fulcanelli was a real person or a pseudonym used by a group of alchemists. Some speculate that Jean-Julien Champagne, an inventor and alleged pupil of Fulcanelli, was the true identity behind the name. Champagne's self-portraits bear a striking resemblance to a sketch of Fulcanelli lending credibility to this theory. Regardless of whether or not Fulcanelli was real, his writings and teachings continue to captivate and inspire those interested in the mysteries of alchemy and esotericism. These mysteries continue to captivate and intrigue people to this day. Although many theories and hypotheses have been proposed to explain these enigmas, they have yet to be proven definitively. The mystery and the possibility of uncovering the truth keep people fascinated with these historical conundrums. Until then, we can continue to speculate and imagine the possibilities of what might have happened and what secrets may still be waiting to be discovered in the pages of history. As we uncover new evidence and apply innovative technologies to these mysteries, we may finally have the answers we seek. 
Thanks for watching our video. If you're intrigued by mysteries and want to learn more, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications.